Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners on how to avoid duplicate credit card charges when you're paying bills. So uh, I run into this problem a lot, or I get this question a lot from people uh, in QuickBooks Online, especially when you're using bank feeds uh, for a credit card and you pay a bill by credit card, how do you avoid showing duplicate charges in QuickBooks. Okay, so I wanna show you uh, in this video how to do that and then how to catch it in the reconciliation. All right, so here we are in the dashboard. So I wanna go over to banking and you'll see that we have this MasterCard set up. So this is a sample company file, so there are some limitations. Uh, but when we go to pay a bill, all right, so in, in your company, you go to pay a bill, you know, you choose your payment account up here. So if it's going to be your MasterCard, MasterCard, let's say, instead of your checking account or whatever it is. So you're using your credit card to pay a bill. And you go in and you say, okay, PG&E, this $86.44. I'm going to use the MasterCard. And I'm going to go ahead and, and pay this. All right. So we're going to save and close. All right. So that bill is now paid. All right. So in QuickBooks, it's going to show up in your register as a paid bill, and it's going to show uh, if I go to, let me go to my chart of accounts over here, and go down to MasterCard just so I can show you. Okay, let me get rid of this. So we're going to see here that this bill now is paid through accounts payable, $86.44. All right, so bill payment. So now in the bank feeds, if I go over to banking, and because this is a sample file, you know, it's going to be, you know, we're not going to be able to see it. But in the bank feed, when you update this, this is going to come in, and you're going to see that the money spent was $86.44. So you're going to have a couple options here. Now, it should show up in the bank feed as one record found, okay? And what this means is that you're going to match it to that bill payment. All right. Now, when you do that and you just hit match, it's not going to record it again in your credit card register. So it's not going to record it twice. All right. So that's if it's a match. Now, sometimes it'll show up and it'll just show up as, say, uncategorized expense. And it'll say, do you want to add this? All right. And in that case, you have to be careful and you have to go in and you have to say, OK, I want to find a match for this, and then you're going to go find the match for the bill payment. It should show up on this screen. Now, if it doesn't show up for some reason, all right, uh, you may have recorded the amount wrong. It may have, you know, come in the bank feed wrong, which is rare, but you want to go back in and make sure you've recorded it correctly because you don't want to add it again. If you do add it again and you put it to an expense, you will be double counting this. All right, so you just want to make sure that you match it up to that bill payment. All right, now, if you do, for some reason, add it again, and you have a duplicate charge, all right, you will be able to catch this in the credit card reconciliation. So I've got some other videos on here on how to enter credit card bills and how to do the reconciliation and enter a bill for the credit card. So you want to make sure that you watch that video because that's very, very important to make sure that you do these credit card reconciliations every month. And when you do that, you will see that there is a duplicate charge. And you can go back and you can void it or delete it or whatever the case may be. Uh, so again, it's very, very important to follow that process in reconciling your credit card to enter the credit card bill. All right. So again, definitely go in. You're paying bills by credit card. Very simple to do. Uh, you just choose that credit card when you're paying the bill. And then when it comes in through the bank feed, it should show up as a match. And then if it does, you just click match. And if it doesn't, uh, then you want to go find the match. And if you do accidentally add it so that it goes into your uh, credit card register twice, make sure that you reconcile the credit card at the end of the month. And when you do, you'll see that duplicate charge. And at that point, you can take it out of there. Okay, so you have a, a couple of safety nets there to make sure that uh, you don't duplicate charges. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment or a question below. Also, uh, head over to the QuickBooks University. Uh, check it out over there. Become a member. Uh, when you do, uh, I answer all your personal QuickBooks questions. The website is qbuniversity.org.